Hello and welcome to this video where we will be dis discussing the uh, n-gram which has applications in text classification and numerous other problems of unstructured data which we'll be taking a look at. So let's say we have a certain sequence of words that uh, let's talk about the Engra model itself. This is a this is a language model. that utilizes the probability distribution. So this is a phrase that we are looking at, all right? The, what the n -gram model would do is, we'll have to define a certain value for n, typically you would have if n is equal to two, this is known as a bigram. If n is equal to three, it is known as a trigram. And uh, we could have increasing values of n. Essentially, if your n is equal to two, you're going to take your first two words as a sequence. So we say a language to begin with. This becomes a sequence by itself. The second one would be using the next, not the next two words, but we'll be beginning with language since language itself forms a sequence with the word that follows, right? So we're talking about consecutive words. From then on, you're talking about model and that and so on. So we could define the n-gram essentially as a contiguous sequence that may be dealing with words. There could also be letters, characters, syllables, and so on. So as long as we are dealing with the sequence, we're talking about using the n-gram model and uh, specifically trying to identify within our text, what is the probability of occurrence of these as sequences, right? So we, for text classification, we have typically taken a look at models like bag of words, which identifies how often a certain word occurs in a sentence. That was, that had its limit, uh, limitations in terms of uh, semantics. So we had the TF IDF, which looked at a single word that occurs in the entire document, not just in a, a singular sentence or a single document. You're talking about the entire data where a certain word occurs. And accordingly, you would uh, decrease the uh, value given to a certain word that is occurring too frequently in the documents, right? So what the Engra model would do is it deals with the sequence as opposed to these two methods, assuming that a certain word depends on what's is, is coming from, right? This is coming from, you could say, n minus words before it. Right, so you can see the nth word, so it can be called as the nth word, is depending on the n minus words that occur before it. That's where the whole idea of a sequence comes into play. And uh, this intuitively makes sense if we, took at, if we take a look at uh, a certain sentence, right? Or as part of a phrase, we come to this. Finality of sort when you say, but that does not, as an example, and you're looking to predict the word that follows, right? 
So in our typical conversation, we might find, but that does not mean, right? Or we might find, but that does not imply, right? And so on, words along these lines, right? So this is something that the model would be able to read based on lots of data and accordingly make a forecast, right? So this assumption is nothing but based on your Markov model, which has numerous applications. As a result, you can see what Ngram is doing. Ngram is not only something that would work with text, it would work with your, uh, say, let's say species classification based on, based on DNA sequences. And uh, we could talk about imagery where you have certain patterns that are built on the uh, pixels. So you, you could accordingly predict something that follows a certain peak pixel sequence, right? So this is essentially how an n-gram model functions. <laughs>